The Patia City Expats Club is a non-profit social organisation and our speakers are volunteers. The club as such assumes no responsibility or liability for the professional reputation of or the quality of services provided by the speaker today. And Sweaty Cap and Bon Voyage. That too. Uh, this is Ro turn, no doubt. That yes. was a rear ship turn. And uh, all aboard. All aboard, yes. yes. So Roger gave a wonderfully, a, a fantastically charming and eloquent talk on cruising and would just mean on the sea. Nothing suggestive about that. And I was really fascinated by just how uh, intricate and how the knowledge of the ship becomes. And you become this expert on milking the system, right? Yes, I do. Uh, I consider myself a cheap Charlie, and I like to get the best bargain for wherever I can. So I use vacations to go, and I want to cruise for $50 or less and get the best value that I can. So that's what I do. Uh, cruising is a wonderfully inclusive holiday. Everything is included. You get on that ship, and you don't have to spend, literally, you don't have to spend another dime. Now, you can. There are things you can buy on ship, but you don't have to, and that's what I like about it. As a cheap Charlie, I like knowing going in that I've already paid for the cruise. I don't have to pay for anything else. Yes, and uh, it all becomes about what the cabin's like. What sort of cabin do you want, right? Yeah. Well, there's lots of levels of cabins. There's a, a, in, usually, the cheapest is the indoor cabin, where there's no window. And uh, that usually is maybe 30 or 40% less than an outside cabin, which can be significant if you start talking about 14 days at, at sea. Then there's an outside cabin, and that can come with an obstructed view or non-obstructed view. There are verandas that you, can, uh, that you can go out and enjoy your own little piece of the sea, as well as being in your room. And then there are suites, and large suites, and forward-facing suites, where you literally have two bedrooms. You have a butler. You can have a butler. You pay a little bit more for your, uh, for your, for your, uh, your fees at the end of the cruise, but you can have your own butler. And is it better to travel with someone you know so you share a cabin because that keep the cost down? Well, sharing a cabin, obviously the prices they normally quoted is per person, uh, two to a room. Now, there are some categories where they will offer a single rate that may be, let's say, 50%. So let's say it's $100 per person, but I go as a single, it costs me $150 per room instead of 200 That You have to look for that. You can look for that category. There are some single categories where there's no increase in price for a single or a double. So, uh, I mean, once in a while, and, and Pullman Tour is one of the ones that he, he mentioned inside, the inside cabin, or the, the individual price was the same as the, the double price. That sounds like my sort of speed. Yes, it was, and free drinks too. Yeah, now this is what the other thing, I have a friend, we have a mutual friend, Ira, who's always off cruising, right? He does a lot of, lot of cruises. I never see him. And he always gets the drink package. Yes, he does, because he's a regular drunk. Ira, if you, you, you know. We I'm, love you, I'm we love you. I'm telling you that right to your face, and I tell you know I tell you that right on the street if I told you. But I mean, he, yeah, he loves to drink. He always listens to the interviews he's, too, so hi he Ira. Is, he's a martini man, and martinis are expensive drinks aboard a ship. So if you're gonna have six a day, Ira, right? Then you might as well pay for 60 bucks a day or whatever he's gonna pay and get as many as you want. So I've, I had a, not such a great experience with the one cruise I've been on, but it always seemed to me that the one must do cruise that you always must do is Alaska. Yes, I've only been on one Alaska cruise, and as I mentioned inside there, it's only because the guy that I was going across the pond with twisted my arm and convinced me that you know, as long as we're in Vancouver already, we should take an Alaska cruise. That was one of the best uh, visiting out off the ship cruises I've ever been on. The weather was ideal. The natives were out in shirt sleeves, painting and fixing and sweeping. And, uh, and you get beautiful views of the coastline oh, on the Alaskan coast. Gorgeous cruises. mountains. They have a wonderful like, uh, cable cars that go up the mountains. You get mountain views. We saw bears. We saw eagles. Uh, all the flowers were in bloom. It was the most glorious time of year. Now, that's not what happens in all Alaska cruises. I, I met some Alaska people that had been there like 10 or 12 times and had never seen Mount McKinley because it was never clear enough. So, you know, you really get what you get. But if you find a good weather spell, Alaska is just primo. primo. Yeah, they tell me that's the way to see Alaska. It is. It is. It's just wonderful. And, and everything's along the coast. I, I mentioned that we took the Juneau cruise or, or Juneau trip. They took, picked us up on a bus 
And when they took us down this four-lane highway, and I'm going, wow, this is pretty impressive. I'll ask with a four-lane highway. He said, well, don't be too impressed. It only runs 10 miles here, and it stops. And it runs 20 miles that direction, and it stops. I said, well, what do you mean? You built a four-way highway, four-lane highway, and it doesn't go anywhere? He said, no. The only way you can get, this is the capital of Alaska. The only way you get here is by boat or by plane, period. <laughs> So if you have any interest in cruising, or you think you might be interested in cruising one day, or you want to take your cruising to a new level, especially if you're a cheap Charlie, uh, you really have to listen to this talk because you will come away much better informed about cruising and its possibilities and its highs. Yes. So when's your next cruise? Uh, actually, next month. We're taking that same uh, Tokyo-Vancouver cruise on that five-star Millennium that was just uh, refurbished. Well, I think uh, two months ago. And how much does the cruise cost for 14 yeah, It's going to be a real cheap cruise. Uh, the balcony cost me less than $50 a day, and they gave us free gratuities, so it's like getting the, uh, it's like getting the cabin for maybe $39 So a is day. it about the same cost of catching an airline flight or something? Much cheaper. So there you go. You <laughs> can have a 14-day cruise across the Pacific and enjoy all the benefits and all the luxury and, and save money and if you want to really prove that you're a retired guy that's what you should do never mind of these airplanes always cruise there you go well it was a delightful talk Roger thank, thank you, you so much I was looking forward to it and rightly so too because it was really fantastic and very charming so thanks Roger and uh, hopefully in a, maybe three years you'll do another talk on cruise <laughs> but bye, okay. bye for now bon voyage bon, bon voyage, voyage Roger see you. thanks Ren bye bye